In today's video, we are going to find out how much I can sell my silver for. But before I do it, I must have silver to sell. So I'm going to take $1,000, $1,000, and we're going to spend it on silver. I've already checked with multiple coin shops and I checked online dealers. And I got an average of what it would cost today to buy one ounce silver rounds, silver eagles, silver maples, and silver Britannias. And we are going to take $1,000 and see how many of each of those items we can get. Then we are going to take the average sale price and find out what we could then turn around and sell them for if we were to sell them on the same day. And the point of the video is to show you what you can expect to get as far as premiums are concerned when you are paying premiums on silver. Because as you know, there's always going to be a premium for silver, you're always going to pay over spot. And how much you pay determines how much silver you get and what you can sell it for later. Well, sometimes. And we're gonna show you that right now. But before we do, don't forget to like and subscribe and help us continue to grow. I really appreciate it and it greatly helps me out. And really quick, I wanted to let you know that next week I'm gonna be at the Tulsa, Oklahoma Coin Show joined by Rob Fine's Treasure, Ravenhawk Coins, Keith from the Coin Crew, the US Mint, my channel sponsor, SD Bullion, CAC is going to be there and so much more. If you guys wanna come next week and see us all and more, make sure you check out Tulsa Coin Show show.com or go to the link in the description below and no i'm actually not sponsored by this coin show i'm just excited about it so i wanted to make sure you guys know that i will be there and i hope to see you also all right so here's what i did so i went to online dealers and i called some local coin shops to find out what they were selling things like rounds maples brits and eagles for and i did that so that i could get an average and low price for each one of these items and then i looked at the premium over spot price where it is right now and then of course i needed sell premium so i also used the data from that video the other day plus local coin shop calls that i made today just a few it wasn't a whole lot like a full video but just to get some more samples and of course i looked at online retailers that display their bribe prices to get the average sell premium for each one of these items. So we're going to take a look at silver rounds and I was looking at the 20 to 100 ounce price which is usually a little bit more of a discount and the reason is is that if we're going to spend a thousand dollars we're going to get more than 20 ounces so we're not going to look at one to 19 we're going to look at 20 to 100 ounce or 20 to 50 whatever they had. So Taking a look at one ounce of a round, you can see the average premium of the local shops and the online retailers that I checked, it came out to $1.84. And I did remove a couple of the really high premium shops because there's an online retailer right now charging $4.50 for silver rounds and it doesn't make sense to me. And yes, I do mean buffaloes. It doesn't make sense to me, so I removed that data so it didn't skew the error. So the average was $1.84 to buy silver rounds and the lowest I could find was $1.59 over spot. Now the average sell premium was $1.27. Now I do wanna note that with the 20 to 99 ounce price, you actually can get better deals if you buy in quantity. For example, my channel sponsor, SD Bullion, has a deal right now where you can get silver buffalo rounds for just 99 cents an ounce over spot, but you do have to buy them in quantity to get that price. So there are good deals out there if you're buying a large amount at once. But again, we're just using $1,000 today. But this is the number for silver rounds. Let's look at Eagles. You can see with silver Eagles, we had the average buy premium of $6.76 an ounce over spot. That is a considerably higher premium than the silver rounds. The lowest I could find was $6.20. And the average sell premium, this is what the shop calls I made the other day, looking at the online retailers that advertise their prices as well, is $0.67 cents an ounce over spot. That is a difference between the average buy premium and the average sell premium of $6.09. That is a huge spread. Let's keep going. Looking at silver maples, you can see the average buy premium was $3.77. The lowest buy premium was 274. So the difference between the average and the low is about a dollar. I found one for 274, average was 377. If I were to go and sell them, the average I could find on the premiums was 25 cents. That is the average of all the places that accept them. Of course, for there to be an average, that means there needs to be higher and lower numbers. You get the idea. And then finally, looking at Silver Britannia's, the average buy premium was $3.31 and the lowest buy premium was $2.84. So the average on Brits was a little bit closer, and then the average sell premium was 36 cents an ounce under spot. But now using that data, let's see what we can get with today's current silver prices plus those premiums. How many ounces are we able to buy? Let's take a look. 
All right, so now we need to find out how many ounces of silver we're going to be able to buy with our $1,000. And we're going to do it using this generic versus premium Excel spreadsheet that I put together a while back. And I've showed it off on the channel before, but if you're new here, you may not have seen it. And by the way, you can download this on my website at coolstacks.com. It is free because it's just an Excel spreadsheet. It's pretty simple to do, but let's show you how it works. So we need to know what the spot price is when we go to buy our silver. And right now, as I'm recording this video, it is $29.78 per ounce. Now we're gonna sell it, so we're also gonna put $29.78 over here because again, we're buying it and selling it at the exact same time. We just wanna know what would be the best to buy if we were to have to turn around and sell it. Now it needs to know how much we're gonna spend. So we already said we're gonna spend $1,000. So we'll plug that in. All it needs to know now is the premiums and it's gonna tell us how many ounces we'll be able to get. So for silver rounds, the average premium was $1.84 an ounce over spot. So with that premium and the current spot price, we'd be able to buy 31 or 31.63 ounces of silver. And if you look at this fiat value at spot, this is what the value of the silver is at spot price with no premium. Now taking a look at silver eagles, the average premium was $6.76 an ounce over spot. If we bought silver eagles, we'd only be able to get 27.37 ounces. And the value of our silver eagles at spot price with no premium is $815. Now looking at silver maples, the average purchase premium was $3.77 per ounce over spot, which means we'd be able to get 29.81, almost 30 ounces of silver. And then taking a look at Silver Britannias, the average premium was $3.31, which would get us a little over 30 ounces at 30.22. Now, if you look at these fiat value at spot, obviously the lower the premium, the more the value of the silver at spot. But what's important is this right side and how much we're actually going to get when we turn around and sell it. So the sell average for one ounce of rounds was $1.27 back of spot. That means the sell value for your silver rounds would be $901.64. Again, on average, there are some shops that are better than others. This is just using averages. Now looking at silver eagles, you were able to get around 67 cents an ounce over spot. So with that premium, the sell value of silver eagles is $833. So as you can see, if we were to turn around and buy and then resell rounds versus eagles, we actually do much, much better with silver rounds. Now the sell premium on maples was 25 cents back of spot, so minus 0.25. And the sell premium on Britannia's was 36 cents an ounce back of spot, so minus 0.36. So as you can see, if we were to buy silver rounds, silver eagles, silver maples, and Britannia's, and then walk out the door and then decide, wait, I need to sell these back, we would do better with rounds. Not by a whole lot versus Maples and uh, Britannia's. You can see the sell value of rounds here is 901.64. Of uh, Maples, it's 880, it's 889 for Brits. So Brits do a little bit better than Maples, but all of them do way better than Silver Eagles at $833. Now let's go ahead and plug in the lowest price that we could find. Let's take a look at that. So the lowest price we found on rounds was $1.59. On Silver Eagles, it was $6.20 over spot. On Maples, it was $2.74 over spot. And on Britannia's, it was $2.84 over spot. So even using the lowest numbers we could find, once again, we win with rounds, but look at this. Maples and rounds are less than a dollar apart. And even Britannia's versus rounds are, you know, really close, like six, seven bucks. So the only one that's really getting destroyed here is Silver Eagles, and it's not even close. So what this really goes to show me, and I think many of you guys, if you stack silver, would agree with this. Do me a favor, leave a comment down below and let me know what you think. But what this really shows me is that eagles are still overpriced. I mean, in my mind, there's no doubt about it. And what's really bad about it is the highest I could find. We're not talking about averages. The highest I could find that a shop would pay me for eagles was 210. And the lowest I could find a shop would sell them to me for was 620. That is a difference of $4.10 per ounce. The other three types of silver that I showed you here don't even come close to that kind of spread. It's only eagles that have such a massive spread. And you know, honestly, I know there's gonna be naysayers that say, this is why I don't buy silver. Well, you probably don't know why we stack silver. And I don't know why people that don't like silver are even here, but I know the comments are gonna be down there. But uh, you know, we stack silver to get it out of the fiat dollar because even if it doesn't happen in a lifetime, we don't like the way the government is managing finances and managing our debt and continuing to print money and inflation out of control. 
And while, again, like I just said, it probably won't happen in our lifetime, uh, we don't believe the US dollar is going to be around forever and we don't wanna be stuck in all US dollars when it happens, which is why we get a physical, tangible asset that will always be worth something that we can hold in our hand. But, you know, getting back to the case in point here, you know, Eagles over $4 an ounce, maybe 450, is still a little overpriced, especially given that buy sell spread that I just talked about. It's pretty massive. And so if you're gonna be going and buying silver today, I still cannot recommend Eagles. I just can't do it. I just can't do it. The, the prices need to come down a little bit more. So that's just my take though. I know there are people out there that love Eagles and they're gonna say Eagles are the best and that's fine, but you can get great security features on Britannia's. Even the Maples have security features that, that beat the US uh, Silver Eagle. So outside of the Eagle being an Eagle and just having the face value of one US dollar, it doesn't make sense to me why they are the way they are or why the demand is there uh, versus the other types of silver that I showed you today. But again, leave a comment down below and let me know what you think. I wanna know. I love to hear your guys' comments and your thoughts. Uh, and I do read the majority of my comments. I'm not going to say I'll read every one of them because sometimes a lot of them come through while I'm asleep and I miss a lot of them. But I do my best to read most of them and I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. So leave a comment down below. And also, if you haven't done so yet, watch this video right here, which is the one where I called those coin shops and one shop offered me only $18 an ounce for my one ounce of a round. Spot was over 30. Anyway, guys, thank you again. We'll see you next time. Have a great rest of your day.